What color do you have? Red, green, or rust? Today, we're gonna to talk about metering systems commonly found on air seating commodity air carts. Hi, I'm Matt, president here at Ready. And I'm Jesse, vice president of Ready. And together, we have a combined 20 years professional engineering experience working for different OEMs all the way down to individual customers. 20 years? You look like you just graduated high school. Thanks. I age well, but I'm actually mid-30s. In 2012, I started Ready with a mission to provide solutions in the ag industry to help farmers keep on farming. And in 2015, I joined Ready in order to expand on all the great things that were already happening. We've heard too many times where farmers tell us they've replaced these components one, two, even three times. And we just decided let's get a system together that allows you to replace it, allows the farmer to replace it, and then they're done with it and it functions correctly. Now, let's take these things apart and see what happens. See what we see underneath. So bolts have already been removed from this one for ease of use, but ooh, oh, that looks... a lot of corrosion that continues down into here. And this seal's already been cut. What a common problem here is even if you can get the bottom apart, you'll usually break the studs on here and you will not be able to get the metering back or the meter housing back up. Well, let's remove this one and see what happens. So even though this one here hasn't been used yet, you can be assured that these fasteners are always gonna come off and not corrode. These parts are not light by any measure, but what you see underneath here is the same top foam seal but you've got all stainless steel plates in place of the steel. The studs aren't gonna corrode. They're not gonna break off. So even if you do have to take the meter housing down from the top plate, this is something that you can do with ease and put it right back up without worrying about replacing any parts. What's wrong with this part? Uh, I'd like to see you get that back together. Yeah, it ain't gonna happen on this one. This one's destined for the scrap heap. Yep, better throw some stainless on it. Better throw this one in the garbage. All right, Jesse, what else do we have inside of here? Well, now we're on to the meter housing itself. And inside here are half width disconnects or shutoffs, which are vital in order to turn off the flow to the meter roller itself and to divert product into the clean out area. Now this here is where the shutoff is, but unfortunately this one, I'm having twisting problems of getting this open and closed. Typical. This one seems to still work okay, but I can't seem to get this one fully closed or open. Hey Jesse, check this out. That would be pretty nice. And what's even better, look how far your clean out doors go. Looks like they open up a little bit. Yeah, I might have a tough time with this one. Well, that's why we did this. Full axis right there. The Ready Stainless Steel offers a very rigid half-width disconnect section. So that means no more twisting half-width disconnects, no more stuck half-width disconnects, just trouble-free operation. There's your clean out and there's your seed. Just pop the door and pull it all the way open. The door stays wide open to allow easy viewing and much better clean out. Simple as that. Now we're gonna go to the middle part of the meter housing where the meter cartridge goes. What do you got there, Jesse? Well, I've got some corrosion pieces in here. Uh, common problem here that we tend to see on the green ones are swelling of the extruded aluminum pieces so the meter roller won't fit very well anymore. Uh, other things with that swelling is all of a sudden you lose air pressure so the metering system becomes unpressurized. The inside of the meter housing is important to maintain consistent metering capabilities and flow. When product comes through here that's corrosive, it swells the inner pieces and the meter roller becomes less effective at doing just that. The other aspect is it starts leaking air and that also will affect metering quality. If you want something that doesn't have those issues, Check out this ready stainless steel meter housing. No more corrosion, no more air loss, no more loss of accuracy on your seating. This is a full stainless steel construction, 
We've not only gotten rid of the plastic dividers, but we've replaced it with an integrated stainless steel shelf and divider system so that those components will never be a problem again. Now that we've reviewed the meter housing itself, it is time to talk about the lower manifold assembly. And before we do that, we're gonna to have to disassemble the meter housing from the lower manifold plate. I do have a grinder just in case I need it. Let's start with this. Don't mind me. Oh, that one's for sure not coming. Here you go, you might need that. Glad you brought this. All right, let me know if you need any help on those. Uh, I think I got it, I got Milwaukee Impact here, so we'll see what we can rip off. Let me hold that for you. It's coming, it's a good sign. These are nasty. I don't think you're gonna get this one, Jesse. No way. You're gonna break the wrench. Oh, oh yeah. he got it. But a ratchet wrench will do in a pinch. Well, my bolts came out easy. Got most of the bolts out, but on this one we ran into a little snag, which commonly happens. We're gonna have to cut off this bolt to finish the job. So as we prepare for that, Man. Better do safety first. Oh, he's even got the green earmuffs. Wow. That's stinky. Well, we've cut off the last bolt, so we should be able to get this pulled apart now. Oh, yummy. So a lot of guys think that they actually take good care of their meter housing assembly and wash it out, which they try. But unfortunately what happens is fertilizer will actually get stuck in these crevices and it's just so hard to get it all out. And this is a common example of what that looks like. Most of this was cleaned out, but in the very middle, since this is a six run system, the two runs in the middle had fertilizer that had dropped down and sat in there. And so that's just creating corrosion. It's turning into a rock essentially, and it's gonna cause problems for the slide selector. To keep this from happening, Ready supplies stainless steel bolts in their hardware kits, so you won't have to worry about stuck or corroded hardware again. I can go to the dealer and get individual bolts as I need them. Wow, that's impressive. At Ready, we supply our kits complete with everything you need, all in one bag, and it's even sub-kitted to follow the instructions. So I don't have to go figure out what I need from confusing, complicated parts diagrams? Nope. This one bag does it all. This part of the metering system is the lower manifold assembly kit. A common problem with this is extreme corrosion because this is where all the Fertilizer and other corrosive materials come through the meter housing and into the airstream. There's a lot of cavities here that hold that fertilizer and that corrosive material, and it just sits on here and rots out the steel and causes all kinds of problems. Another common problem is related to the slide selector. This can become very troublesome over time and requires daily cleaning. Do you need a little help with that? Yeah. All right, let's go. I think this one's stuck. I don't think this is going. Let me grab a hammer. Oh man. I think I got it. I think you dropped some pieces. Having freely moving slide selector is very important when selecting whether the product goes to the top chute or the bottom chute. So always make sure that this can move freely. Well, if you want it to not be stuck all the time and not be able to service it, for example, taking apart the bolts on your manifolds, this one from Ready is all stainless steel and it's gonna allow it to be functioning like the way it's supposed to. Look at that. So now we're gonna flip these around and check out the bottom sides. The 
bottom of this manifold assembly, I noticed right away some very corroded nuts and long bolts that hold these manifold pieces together. Experience tells us that these will be almost impossible to be able to pull these plastic manifold pieces apart. This here is the stainless steel cleanout plate. So when you want to drop the product out from your primary manifolds, you would pop these clamps, which these ones are stainless steel from ready. And so they're not going to corrode and break. And you pull this plate up, slide it out. Now you can access all these bolts and nuts for your manifold stacks. If these manifolds ever need to be serviced, this is very important to be able to get the nuts off the bolts. With the stainless steel hardware from Ready, this is gonna be an easy task for years to come. So which of these problems have you experienced? Drop a comment down below. And are you ready to make the switch? Don't keep replacing corroded and stuck parts over and over again. Stop it from happening again with Ready Stainless Solutions. Visit our website at ready-ag.com and give us a call. There is still a future in farming. Let's get there together. And in 2015, I joined Ready in order to expand on all the great things that were already happening. Good. I'll take the eight parts of the other one.